it is Cyber Week on the Unity Asset Store, which means that right now there are hundreds of assets that are 50% off. I went through the entire sale list and found the top 10 best hidden gems from this sale. So here they are in no particular order. I hope you enjoy. Let's start this off with an asset that will tackle one of the most boring parts of making a game, but it's also needed for most games, and that is a fleshed out settings menu. Settings and game options unified menu makes this process extremely easy. You can use pre-built options and swap between PC or console variants, or you can custom make your own settings menu by simply choosing what setting you want from a list and adding it into your project. Obviously, you can make your own custom settings, but many of the standard options that you would want in a settings menu are already built in, like control bindings, which works with both the old and the new input system, by the way, all sorts of graphics and post-processing options, and audio sliders. The settings that you select are automatically saved. The navigation automatically works with mouse or keyboard or gamepad, which is a pain to implement yourself, by the way, if you've never had to do that. And the documentation is very detailed, and if you're serious about publishing a game, I can't recommend this asset enough because it takes a lot of the pain out of one of the most boring dev tasks that I can think of, which is UI and making options menus. This next one is very clever, and all you 3D devs out there are going to love this asset. To place objects in your scene, you have these tools here. Move, Rotate, Scale, Rect, and Transform. Grab it, Editor Physics Transforms gives you several physics-based additional options. You have your standard place mode, and you can see the object will not go through the table, and it rotates when it comes into contact with another collider. It has a rotation mode as well, and an align mode, which is interesting if you want to either align things or throw things into complete chaos, I guess. The last two are my favorite, though. So the first is fall mode. So you select your object and you hold shift to just let it fall. Physics will take care of the rest. It's time saving and it's also just weirdly satisfying to watch and play around with. Point mode is probably the biggest time saver. You highlight your object and while you hold left shift, it's gonna attempt to place it on any colliders that your mouse is touching. But it also rotates it based on the distance too. So you can move things from surface to surface really easily, but you can also flip them and roll them. What's really cool about fall mode though, is if you select multiple objects at the same time, it all simulates them together, so you can create some really organic looking scenes pretty easily using this. This next one is already crazy good value, even with no sale. It's simple, it's super customizable, and it's really, really, really easy to use. And this is everything that I love in an asset. If you need any kind of text or numbers spawning into your game, then you're gonna wanna look at Damage Numbers Pro. It has a lot of different presets for text style, how it fades in and out, plus there's additional behavior options here, like if you want the text to combine, or if it should destroy other text, or collide with other text. And also in the performance tab here, you can select pooling. And look at this, automatically we get an object pool system just like that, which is so cool. Triggering this with code is just as easy as well. We add the namespace at the top, we'll add a reference to our damage number prefab, and call the spawn method, passing in a position, and I'll just do a random range here, but it could be your damage or healing or experience or coins collected, whatever you want. And you can optionally pass in a transform here if you want these numbers to follow an object in your game, but I'm gonna leave it blank. And there you go. You can see we're spawning them in and using our object pooling system and tweaking the settings with this asset is super easy. Just like with sound effects, I like to build up a collection of icons and just general UI art. It's not something I'm good at making, and this is the kind of thing where I just wanna be able to reach into my assets, grab what I need so that I can keep on making progress and working on the things I actually enjoy. Now, a lot of these assets are clearly targeted to mobile developers, but honestly, this is just a huge collection of high quality UI skins that can be used for just about any game. There's dark modes and light modes for most of the art, and in total, what you're gonna get is over 3,400 stylized high quality PNG files. And there's nearly 500 prefabs to help you get started, including buttons, frames, labels, pop-ups, sliders, toggles, and panels. Another thing I really like to collect are nice, high-quality particle systems. 
Now, if you know anything about making particles in Unity, you can make a fairly simple one in just a couple minutes, but making really nice and polished particles that have a lot of juice behind them can take a very long time, even if you know what you're doing. Now, as the name suggests with this asset, these are stylized particle, which are my favorite kind. This pack includes things like explosions, hits, blasts, projectiles, slashes, tornadoes, buffs, fires, dashes, punches, and all sorts of things like that. So if you are making any game with combat in it, then you are going to love this pack. It comes with quite a few prefab variants for all the different particle types, and it comes with materials both for URP or built-in, which is always really nice. If you need high quality particles for your project, then I would highly recommend this pack. Now, if you are interested in 2D or 3D city builders, simulation games, RTS games, or even really just any kind of game where the player needs to place objects at runtime, then Easy Grid Builder Pro is the best asset I've seen available for setting up your grid. I was already impressed because it's a very highly optimized system that supports up to 100 million cells, so you can have very large worlds, but you can also create vertical grids to build vertical levels as well. But what's really cool about this is it has several highly, highly polished demo scenes included to help you get started. There is a city builder type game and another one with modular buildings and a 2D scene as well. And I find one of the challenges with getting assets from the asset store, especially technical ones that aren't just like art or sound assets, is learning how to use them as quickly as possible. This asset has a quick start guide and a tutorial style documentation, which I absolutely loved going through. The demo scenes include extra props specifically for you to be able to plug those into the system using their documentation tutorials. For example, after following their instructions for maybe two to three minutes, I was able to add this tree asset into the project, which can now freely be placed just like everything else, including all of the effects and everything. It was really easy to set up and get going. I've had my eye on this one for a while, but I haven't actually taken the time to play around with it until very recently. And it is so cool. I had so much fun playing around with living particles that it was hard to stop to get this video recorded. So this is one of those assets where I don't really think a lot of explaining is really necessary. You just need to see it in action and your imagination automatically starts running wild with all sorts of cool use cases for it. If you look, there's really nothing too complicated happening to get all of this set up. You can see it's just a normal particle system component with a script. You plug in whatever you want the particles to react to, or an array of them, and it just works. All the magic happens on the shader side of things, and there's plenty of presets to choose from, which means it should be pretty easy to create your own living particle system with this asset. And their latest update added the ability to make the particles react to audio as well, which is so cool. So if you are looking for some really stylish particles that will add a unique flair to your game, then I would highly recommend Living Particles. Advanced Scene Manager is one of those assets that I wished I had discovered a long time ago. Clean scene management can be extremely tricky to pull off, so this asset will solve that problem for you. You have this nice clean window here for all your scenes and it makes everything really easy. Now what's interesting is Advanced Scene Manager defaults all scene loading and unloading to additive mode. And it does this to keep everything smooth and as stutter free as possible, but it's so easy. It also handles quite a lot more than I was expecting before I open it up. You'll notice that when I play our scene collection here, it handles fading in and out. It has a splash screen, which we can replace. We can easily adjust whether we want a loading screen to load in between our scenes or not. And like I said, it's really easy to use. If you want to load a scene from a button, you can literally just drag in your collection over here and select the open method. Or if you wanna do it through code, there's quite a few ways you can do it, but I like to keep it really simple and do it like this. And everything is just handled for it. It's so cool. Plus, it also gives you the ability to load a scene by actually plugging it into the inspector like this, which is not an option by default. It even has the functionality to let you create cross scene references, which is something I feel like should be built into Unity by default. This next one is another UI solution, but it's really different because it's not just a huge collection of PNG files. Modern Procedural UI Kit allows you to very easily create your own UI, and there are a ton of customization options. 
So once you've installed the package, we're just gonna simply create a new MP image. Everything that you need is in this one script, but it's basically limitless what you can actually make with it. You're gonna choose your shape and just start customizing. Each shape has its own set of options here, but they all have stroke options to hollow it out, outline controls, fall off controls, and gradient controls. And just like a regular image component, you can control whether it's a raycast target, and you have all the normal fill options here as well, so it's very familiar to work with. There is quite a lot that you can make with this simple little asset, especially if you start layering different images together. But what's really cool with a solution like this is you can animate the values at runtime to give you some pretty interesting looking effects. I would highly recommend Modern Procedural UI Kit if you're wanting beautiful, high quality UI art that you can quickly make yourself on the fly with no art skills. Now I am a sucker for fantasy, especially for gothic style scenes. So multi-story dungeons really stood out to me for this reason. Now this asset is compatible with popular procedural generation tools like Dungeon and Dungeon Architect. I just wanna be clear that multi-story dungeons is not a procedural generation system. What it is, is a high quality pack of models, textures, and prefabs that allow you to create really nice gothic style dungeons. They have assets for top-down and first-person, so whatever type of game you're making, if you need dungeons, then this is a great pack. It comes with fog and fire effects, and just about all of the assets support grid snapping, which is just going to make building a level with this asset so much quicker and easier. But what struck me about this asset isn't just that it's beautiful, but also that they have such helpful and detailed documentation for how to build a proper level using these assets. They give you all sorts of helpful do's and don'ts, tips for getting good lighting, how to use snapping for easier level building, and even just general steps of what to do first, like build your base, then duplicate, and then add staircase and railings. And their documentation also includes instructions for how to integrate these assets with Dungeon. I really like this asset, it's beautiful, and it brings back good memories of playing Diablo 3 for me personally. And that is the top 10 best assets on sale for Cyber Week. Again, they are all 50% off right now on the Unity Asset Store. And don't forget this sale only lasts until December 11th. I've got links for all of these assets down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.